Hey YouTube, it's Nova Piper. Another Saturday, I guess. We're in lunchtime, early afternoon. Just got out of the shower. <coughs> and I'm smoking uh, some tobacco that I that I took out of the box pass that I've still got in there. This is um, some sticky aromatic uh, Highland Cigars Black Gold in my freshly cleaned Rick Black Rhodesian made from Morda. Got a nice swirly purple bluey swirly stem. I guess blue I guess. I just cleaned it uh Gave it a nice cleaning yesterday. My pipes are all starting to get a bit funky. Didn't realize until I cleaned one. I went, oh my god. I better give these guys a clean. So I'm uh, trying to find some aromatics that I like. My quest. This here's Jesus, a big old flies are out. Not that warm, but it's warm enough the flies are coming out. Just ugh, they can barely move. Um, I'm trying to find. I got an idea of what kind of aromatic I'm looking for. So I'm just trying a bunch of stuff. And from trying all kinds of different. Tobaccos I don't like. I've uh, come to the conclusion that um, it's the black Cavendish or anything with flavored Cavendish in it, which is probably the majority of the aromatic market. It's the Cavendish blends that I'm not a fan of. This stuff's got a really powerful smell. It smells okay. It's, I think it's a liquor topping on it or vanilla liquor. I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm looking for um, I'm looking for a chocolatey, nutty, burly based stuff. Burly based aromatic. No Cavendish. No Kentucky. And whatever else you put in it, you know that's fine. As long as there's no Cavendish or Kentucky. Maybe very little. I find the Cavendish blends, they just wash out. They taste good at the beginning and then they get flavorless. The stuff I'm smoking here is soaking wet. I might mix a little bit of this. Mix a little bit of this with... Uh, the Amphora original that I got in there. I was surprised that Amphora, I didn't really mind it as much. You know, I thought I was going to hate it, but it wasn't really that bad. A little bland, though. Maybe if I add a little bit of this in there, it might zip it up a bit. The bum's probably going to pop out here. It's nice on the deck. She's got her back door open, it looks like. Yeah, but it looks like the Burley blends, uh, bl the Burley based aromatics are the ones that I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm going to look this one up and see what's in it. Highland Cigar. Island Cigar, Black Gold. Now, I did do a video of this uh, a while ago. And, uh, yeah. Burley and 
Cavendish. Let's see how it uh see how it holds its flavor at the bottom of the bowl. I should have watched my video before I lit it up. That amphora, I smoked that right to the bottom and the flavor was pretty good. Uh, I don't like reading the I don't like reading the reviews. Try to find out what flavors are in it because I can't pick them out. Uh, I don't really say. Hmm. I don't know. Goo, yeah, it's pretty sticky stuff. I don't know. Yeah, early in Cavendish. This stuff. It's pretty good. You lit it. Yeah, not too bad. Now, of course, as I get towards the bottom, it will be a little nastier. I'm doing a little backyard photography here, too, so, you know, I got cleaned this pipe up yesterday. You know, when I was done cleaning it, I stuck it over on the, um, put it on the railing, you know, it's old. My deck's all gray, right? From the, you can see the wood behind me, the railing, it's all grayed out from the weather. Pressure treated lumber. So, stuck it up there in a little pipe stand and got in close with my camera and did some pictures. And, you know, did some, uh, blurred the background out a little bit and different aperture settings and stuck it in Lightroom and playing around with them. I'm going to clean this guy out today. Rick back, my Rick Black poker. The top was all nice and green. And there was no wax on it. And I screwed it up. So I'm going to strip it. I'm going to get some leather dye. I want to bake it green again. I want to get some leather dye. i got lots of alcohol, so I'll just dilute it down. and You know. Put some wax to it, and uh, buff it. I think I put shellac on it and I ruined it. Rick told me to send it back to him and fix it up, but yeah, I'll do it myself. Some nice cake in the Man, there's a lot of traffic out there today. Holy shit, it's noisy. Long weekend, so. Weather's getting nicer, the bikes are coming out now. I'm not complaining about the winter as much. <laughs> the boys in Quebec sent me pictures this morning. I got to say, this is what I woke up to. It's like, oh no, it's snow. It's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying some different aromatics, and I know this is a really strong, strong, powerful like, odor to it. Tin note, I guess, even though it's in a little bag, stuffed in another bag, filled with other little bags. kind of all smells the same after a while, but it's really potent. Very powerful. 
uh, tin note to it. Uh, I can really taste the sweetness. It's really sweet, especially with the Cavendish now. It's, the flavor is not as intense. It's starting to mellow out, but now towards the end, it's just going to be washed out Cavendish flavor. Hey, yes, sir. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to try some. I'm going to try to look up some aromatics. Early based. No cabinets. <laughs> They're very little. I think we're going to try the. Just for fun, I might try all the popular over the counter blends, you know. Like get some Bork and Riff and Captain Black and all that stuff, right? Some guys still smoke that stuff. They love it. I don't know. It's like I find my, my taste change. Like I still like my Englishes, but... You know, I don't... Uh, I find that um, even within my Englishes, I like to mix it up a little bit. You can see me smoking a lot of plum pudding this summer. Anyway... We'll end it here. You guys all take care and uh, thanks for watching.